pick off you've just said it off camera there. It's been a busy couple of days. Um, a one one draw with uh, Spalding United this afternoon. Yeah, I think first and foremost we give credit to Spalding United. You know, they've the pitch is in absolute fantastic condition. So credit it's so a credit to them, the level they play their football at and a, a credit to Andrew Kelly with the owner in, in lead. And he's, he's managing director, really good stuff. We come here, it was competitive. The aim was to get 90 minutes. Um, the boys were in this morning, so we had a running session this morning as we did yesterday morning. So the good thing is the fitness levels were high and we came into the game and the players that we wanted to get 90 minutes got 90 minutes and we recognise that, that Chris T and, and, and JJ are slightly behind the group in terms of where they were at the end of last season and they've they've both got 75 80 minutes in and been really strong at the end so a great workout pleased with a couple of youngsters that come onto the pitch as well but as i said to the boys when we had the got parkgate away and then we had scotland away and then we've had 90 minutes each then we'll we'll get serious from monday so we'll we'll start to prepare we'll have alfredton really after alfredton we start to build up and it's been a tough it's been a tough couple of weeks back for the players, hasn't it? And you, you must have been pleased with their application out there today, even though they didn't get the result that they wanted, maybe. Yeah, there was, I think there was a lot of cheer today, but I said they can have tomorrow off, so. Um, they, they, they've been spent a lot of hours on the training ground, spent a lot of hours on the on the training ground running and walking hard and, and building that fitness levels up. And I'll repeat what I said at the start of the pre-season, Kim, you, you don't get fit by playing football, you get fit to play football at a good level, a competitive level. So we've, you know, we recognise today that some players go on the pitch and, and last night and a little bit stiff to, and struggle to get going because we've been working so hard. But you know, we'll taper that now and, and work on the sharpness rather than the length and the distance, we'll work on the sharpness. And then we'll have a look, good look at the group and then we'll start settling it down ahead of Exeter on the 10th. A word on a couple of players who play today. Firstly, I just wanted to mention Alex McDonald who played out there on right, at right back, but he had a, a really good game, didn't he? Yeah, I've seen Alex McDonald at right back before. Um, his great banter to camp with Joe Rafferty because, of course, Alex got man of the match when Stephen is drew with Pompey last season and a great game end to end, but Macca was brilliant. And uh, you can see the quality the kid's got. And I've said when he come in, he won't play 30, 40 games, but, but when he goes onto the pitch, you see supporters shaking his hand and walking off and because uh, they know what they get. I was going to talk to you about that Sheffield United game actually, because obviously Alfred in midweek first, but it's a good game for the lads to build up to, isn't it, against a team that will be competing right at the top end of the Championship next season. I love playing against the Sheffield clubs. Why wouldn't you? We've always got a point to prove, haven't we? We're always that little, little puppet looking up, you know, the big boys. It's great, and um, that's no disrespect. It's the nature, and the size of the clubs. We're very proud of what we are. We're very proud of our history. We're very proud of where we are. Where do we set levels of clubs? We bet free. We have a fantastic stadium. Fantastic owner and fans that would die for a foot. I was in the petrol station this morning, an hour and a half from Rotherham, and I go in to get some fuel, and there's two Rotherham fans in the petrol station. So my question is, stuck in me, guys. And uh, they were in a good giggle. They stayed down, they came to both games. They were coming, I didn't see them today, but they were they were here last night. I think they had a few beers in Stamford and gone out. That, that's what pre season's about if you're a supporter, getting, getting around, if you can take your kids or take your family and park the car and have a couple of beers and chill. And, see your team, see some of the new boys, have our opinions, football's about opinions. There'll be opinions formed over these last two games. I have no opinions on what players can deliver, I have an opinion that we're 90 minutes of football into 20 players, over two days with no injuries. I had a ticked out box two weeks ago. Brilliant, thank you for your time. Thank you. Just